So um, this is the cheapest computer we could find that was actually one that wouldn't wear out instantly, not one of those crappy screens that's all in one, with some sort of custom board that's all just little crappy, mostly I assume cell phone chips, even though they'll lie to you about it. And then you have those little click-on magnetic key keyboards. Yeah. This is an alternative. And it's the cheapest one we could get as a replacement for our laptop that actually can play, like, 4K videos. Because uh, we have a camera right here that can. And this is for uh, mostly uh, just uh, having a laptop replacement that's small and portable. Yeah, open it up. Yeah. I wish I could get a portable screen for this. That'd be great. You know? Yeah. Let's see here. Ah, uh, it slides up. Okay. All right. Let me here. Let me have that for a second. All right. So we've got the uh, B Link brand here. You know. And that's a pretty cool brand, you know. I don't know. There's been some false B Links that have been coming out. Now we got some real products. It seems like again, everybody wants to be B Link. This is a uh, storage 512 gigabyte. I liked it. it was a little bit bigger. It would have been nice to have a terabyte at this point, but I guess that costs more. 16 gigabytes of RAM, Intel Celeron N5095 processor. That's the only information on it. It comes with a very short... Uh, HDMI? HDMI, or is that micro? I don't know. Micro HDMI? I don't know. Whatever. Not uh, maybe... too big of a, you know, cell phone charger brick. Yeah, it's not too bad. Um, it's not humongous. Here's an even shorter HDMI cable. Huh. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, a bunch of screws, and that comes with this little base mount or something. I don't know. For oh, the super short HDMI cable must be so that you can mount it behind your screen so it's like it's an all-in-one PC. But, yeah, uh, screws and plate for mounting to something. Okay, so it says here... Uh, During the system boot process, if you cannot log into your personal account, please turn Wi-Fi and LAN, select the skip option, turn off Wi-Fi and LAN, and select the skip option, then log into your personal account in the system. Okay, then. Um, account? What accounts? Why wow, that sounds like a pain in the ass. I hope it isn't. I'll have to see what it actually entails. Yep. Alright, so uh, what do we got? What does it look like? I guess you can take that wrapping off. Alright. Just so we can even use it, you have to. Yeah. It smells funny, like scotch tape on steroids. Yeah, scotch tape on steroids. Definitely. That's exactly what it smells like. That plastic. Anyways, B Link Intel inside. Dan, 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 dan. Got two HDMI ports in the back, two USB, and yeah. a LAN access port for, you know, uh, LAN. Yeah, the other one I got that's uh, APU from AMD has um, DVI ports and everything. It's way more powerful. It only costs like $50 more. But this is what I knew that, you know, the old folksies would want in their bedroom for browsing yeah. the internet and looking at porn videos. Anyway, um, yeah, it's, oh, wow. It's got a little headphone port like yeah. you want on any computer. Yeah, like so that you can plug whatever into it, a speaker system or yeah. whatever, or just your headphones. That's convenient. So it's an all-in-one PC. Yeah. No, it is. It's, it it is. runs whatever. What <laughs> I forget. Is this one Windows 10 or 11? It's Windows 11. Oh. I mean, I, I can maybe install a different operating system to it if I really care. We'll see. Yep. We it's, can try Windows 11 now. It's real simple. It's got um, 
ports for through vents on this side and this side, so it's got cross flow. Yeah. And then it's got venting on the back. So yeah. And I back. saw, if you look at the diagram online for this one, it has a cool big fan that's all skinny on top of the whole thing. It shoots it out of the vents all nice. And that's what you would want. Yeah. Simple. It's more like the GameCube style, which makes a lot of sense. It means it'll last yeah. for quite a while. I I'd probably install Windows 7 to this, of course, not 10, if yeah. I was going to change the operating system. It's what they're familiar with, anyway. Yeah. They're used to Vista. All right, I guess we'll move on to the next segment. You have anything else to say about its physical properties? Not really. Uh, it looks nice. It doesn't look like it'll pick up dust too much. We can blow it out pretty easy. You don't want to, of course, probably blow too hard in there with a vacuum or something. It might damage the fan. Yeah. All right. Turn it on. Okay. Ooh, I like the glow. It's yeah. like non-irradiative. Yeah, it's sort of a... It is a pleasant glow. It's, it's, not, it's not... It's pretty nice. Yeah, it's not directly white. Look at that B-Link. Ooh, but loading up with the little window spin. That's pretty cute. It's the link inside. Yep, sure is. I'm glad we have a power powerful one that we're getting in the mail soon. Tomorrow, next day, whatever it is. Just a moment. Just a moment for Disney DVD. All right, let's see how long it takes to start up this first time. That should indicate things in the future. Maybe not. I mean, if it takes him too long here, I'll just cut. Tell you, it's been a while. This is ridiculous. Let's make up some music. There it goes. Windows 11. Wow, I haven't seen that yet. So excited. Yeah, there it goes. Okay, it's just the regular Hello. stuff here. Do you speak? Espanol, oh, well, French, I gotta plug Italian. a mouse into it. I forgot to do that. So, yeah. Alright, these USBs are real stiff. Where is it? The mouse, is it? The battery's dead? Yeah. So, this new screen I got in the current year that I'm in, uh, QLED, I don't really care. I'm not gonna describe all the details. It has little buttons on the back here that you gotta reach around and touch, which are a pain in the anus. So um, why doesn't every screen come with a remote Yeah. Come to on. access those options on the back? Yes, please. Every screen. Every this screen. Is, this is a 32-inch, like, home, not like, not home theater, like, like, release, you, content creation screen. Yes. To, like, get accurate colors and everything. So you have to be able to switch between ports and stuff. It's it's what the screen. It's thirty two inches. Yeah, it's huge. They need a remote that switches between all the ports and between all the options that you have available on those little buttons for every new yeah. release screen from now on. Yeah, come the come fuck on. on. Yeah. Also, fuck you, pay me because ideas aren't free. Yeah, and also on those remotes, we need to a, a button you push that just says next signal or whatever you'd call it that just says this is the signals going into the ports on the back of the screen that are live and it can detect that come on then you just hit the button and it goes to the next one instead of selecting between all the ports even if they're deactivated right it should know at this point <laughs> yeah that's retarded come on now all right this experience on this intel little device makes no sense it's like everything's lagging to just enough degree in Tetris Effect that it's just not very fun, but somehow you're sort of getting fun. Like, see that, though? I put it the wrong way because it was delayed because of the particle effects, which are on low, delaying the input controls. All right, I've been testing out this game a little bit now, and um, it's... With everything on low, it's like uh, the settings are just so marginal. Like, it's so delayed for some reason. Like, as though the, the particle effects can't quite keep up in certain color ranges. Into the golds. You can do blues. 
and so then it lags out the game. So sometimes it's so delayed you'll make a mistake because the input controls act like they're so delayed. And yet you can still sort of play it. And it's the same, just to point this out though, computer games are all fucked. Every one that comes out for the mass market. And I know there's fucking marketers doing this, you know, the rich fat cat people and their tall skyscrapers. They actually say, no, in order for a game to come out everywhere, I'm actually being serious here, it has to... Um... Allow for the graphics to affect the, um, controls. They have to be tied together. They get programmers to come in, even though any programmer would have those separate, and say, ha ha, no, it doesn't run smoothly, your experience of controlling the game, because it's lagging, and people spying on you playing the game don't like that it's lagging or punishing you, because they're like, making it lag by watching you play it. You see what I'm saying? It's the same thing here. So even on my super powerful computer with a thousand watt power supply and everything, it still lags just like this in the game, but it's just one millisecond lag versus here where it's like 20 millisecond lag. So it's pretty unacceptable here. That's about it. So right after I was playing, you know, and talking about it and really being intense, when you push the controls, then they have this thing where they also make the game, because the engine's loose, then it'll pop over its resolution, which makes no sense. I was playing at 1080 in order to be smooth. It popped it to 2K again at my, yeah, this is my monitor's 2K, that doesn't matter. They'll, they'll do it the other way. Say this was a 1080p monitor, they just pop it over to 720p. Now it just crashed. How did that happen? Nobody touched anything. I've never seen a game crash when it's stably sitting there like that. That's nuts. Talk about shitty made games so that old or new low-end systems can't play them. I mean, we gotta stop this. Like, this system can barely play Tetris. And it's, like, supposed to render movies. Entire movies. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I plugged in our other one we got now. Um... So the AMD uh, APU here is way more powerful out of the box than, of course, the Intel. But I knew that it's a little bit more expensive and it's a lot, somewhat better deal, probably. Even though the Intel has a doesn't have any bottlenecks for attaching a GPU, so it's good, too. We're going to use both for rendering movies. But this one here, right out of just defaultly, I can put it at 1080 full screen... And look, it actually plays the effect, whereas no other computer I've tried it on, even when I officially downloaded the game through Microsoft and different crap, it never plays that effect with it moving. Here it's doing it. <laughs> it looks better than any other version of the game. It's the best played on this. But look here. This is erroring. It's like he's popping and resetting and not finishing the animation, so... Bizarre. It's like this maybe some NVIDIA effects with the smoke out there. It's not really working. I don't know. So I also put the particles on small detail. Like, see, each particle's much smaller and looks better. And still running. Seems like the colors got less intense, though, as I turned the particles up as though to compensate. It's like, yeah, it auto-compensated. The did. colors are less intense. That's Which bizarre. means it's actually set for the kind of graphics this runs like it's working with it better yeah auto compensation interesting all right i'll uh try out the um well let me set this real quick set the location uh whatever that's not correct who cares all right, this looks like i'm down at elko instead of here um let's try out the classic purify completely smooth. In fact, it plays better than on my ultra powerful PC. It's just it's just as compatible. What can you say? 
Which is really frustrating. Yeah, like, why do they make games to only work on certain hardware? They're doing it Microtized hardware. Yeah. I don't want to run this shit on a phone. I want to use a computer. Yeah, so we get the point here. It runs perfectly. I mean, let me try turning the settings up even higher. Options. Oh, what? Okay, so graphics. Um, Let's see here. Shadows, high, let's try epic shadows. It's playing the same, the shadows do look way better. This looks better than on my other computer. This just looks phenomenal. Okay, wow, that looks amazing. Let's, and it's not even a 2K. Okay, let's try, uh, uh, let's try 2K. At some point, you think it would fail to play it, but I don't know. Maybe it'll just keep doing it. Oh, it feels a little laggy. Let's see if it is. Oh, it's a tiny bit laggy. It's not... There's, like, now, like, two to five millisecond delay. Oh, no. And then it jumped. Can't do so 2K. It's, so it's a 1080. It's still a 1080 screen... Or 1080 power. Yeah, I can't do 2K, really, for this game. Good to know, but that's pretty nice. That's you can play it, you know. That's good enough looking. <laughs> it looks pretty good. So at 1080, let's see particle bloom quality. Let's turn that up. It's about it. Texture filtering. Nah, that's all the graphics. HDR on. Turn up the zone brilliance. Let's see if it runs everything at 1080. Hi. Ultra. Still smooth. Oh, it's... Huh. It's kind of playing like my more powerful old computer now. Like a little bit laggy like it is. So, you know, it's still not quite handling it, but... Almost. That's about it. It looks good. Our original big computer uh, should be killing it on the blacks on like YouTube here, dark mode, but it's not. But yet this new computer with the APU, it really lets the, you know, HDR come through or whatever. And it's like true blacks that feel glowy yet dark and on the uh, gas screen, you know, it just literally looks nice. So apparently... We've stumbled upon the right programming set to get good effects out of everything. Now we'll see how we can boost it with extra graphics card.